In a previous video, I showed you how to create a tab for every day of the year. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a tab for every week of the year. It's a little tricky, just a couple changes, but here's how to do it. So let's go over to our app script. In the last video, we created this app script, create every tab. We started on January 1st, 2025. You can change the year here if it's 2026, 27, and 28, or even in the past if you want to go, hey, last year we got to get a sheet for every year. This zero is January. Zero, all months are zero base, so January is zero, then February is one. And one is just the first day of the of the month. We're gonna go do a while loop, and we're gonna get the full year while the date is the full year of 2025. Make sure these are the same as we want to. We're gonna run this loop. And the loop is gonna say, hey, get the formatted date. We're going to choose three letters of the month, and then one single number of the day, or if there's double numbers, it'll be 11, 10. It just won't have a leading zero for anything one through nine. Then we're going to insert the sheet as this name, and we're going to go get the date and add one to it and loop again and again and again. This one is how we get every day, but let's do every week. We just need to change the one to seven. However, there is one more change we're going to have to do based on your unique situation. So let's save this, and we're going to run it. It's going to create a tab for every day starting on January. So let's run it and see. We can go back to our sheet while it's doing it and we see January 1st. Let's stop it and go to a calendar and see. It's creating January 1st, 8th, 15th, 22nd, and 29th, and it's going all the way through the entire year. But however, for your particular case, we may want to start on the 6th or even the 3rd. Let's do every Friday. So I'm going to show you how to change the code for that. That's up here in this variable date, the very first or second line here. We're starting on the 1st of January. If we just start on the 3rd of January, 0, 3, and add 7, now we get every Friday. If we want to do every Monday, we just change this 3 to a 6 and make sure it's plus 7. So it's just adding 7 date days every time it's going to loop through. We can save this. Let's run this again and it'll add even more tabs. And we can see it started on January 6th, then the 13th, then the 20th. And so that is 6th, 13th, 20th, and it'll go all the way to the end of the year. So that's how you create a tab for every week of the year, depending on which day of the week you want. Please feel free to ask questions down below in the comments and subscribe here on YouTube to Better Sheets.